Hi guys, it's a tiff, and this is part three for who will win the NFC North for the 2020 to 2021 NFL season. And in this part, we'll be talking about the Green Bay Packers, so the Packers offense. Aaron Rodgers is still their first string QB, but who knows how long he will stay after the addition of Jordan Love, considering that they traded up for Jordan Love. And they're pretty similar players because they're both very good at long passes. So Aaron Jones had a breakout year with 1,084 rushing yards and 16 rushing TDs as their running back. Um, it's He still had a lot of yards, but can you get over 1,100? Let's see. I'm not sure if it's a stretch or not. Devontae Adams is leading the receiving core. He got 997 receiving yards last year despite being injured. He's only gone over 1,000 receiving yards once in his career, but had gone 997 twice. So let's see what he can do this year. Alan Lazard is the second in the receiving core. He got 477 receiving yards last year. Is 500 a stretch? Let's see. And either Jake Kumara or Devin Funches is their third receiver. Kumara had 219 receiving yards last year, and due to Devin Funches being injured, he only got 32 yards. But the year before, he got 400, 549 yards. Uh, Josiah Degura might be tied at, might be the Deguara might be the tight end. Could he? Could he? Could he have gone some tips from Mercedes Lewis, who's been playing at tight end since 2006? Let's see. And David Bukhtari is leading the O line, and they did trade away Brian Bulaga. And Corin, Corey Lindsley is a solid, inconsistent center. The Packers defense. So they have a pretty young secondary, and their top three players being Adrian Amos, Jair Alexander, and Darnell Savage. Yeah, Adrian Amos is still, is he's the oldest out of them, but he's not insanely old. The Darius Smith is leading the line, all of the linebackers. He had a breakout year last year with 13 and a half sacks. Preston Smith, he had a great year. He quietly got 12 sacks. So, hey, let's see. He's, he's going to be a pre pretty good player as well. And Oren Burke didn't play a super high amount of minutes last year and didn't do much in general. Kristen Kirksey has, hasn't played much for the last two seasons, but hopefully can come back and, and have a decent season on the Packers as a linebacker. He's had four assisted tackles and 11 combined tackles. Or, yeah. Dean Lowry, the defensive end, started all 16 games. He had a career high in tackles with 47, had an interception, a fumble recovery, and that's all, in the 2019-2020 to season. And as their defensive tackle, Kenny Clark got 62 tackles and 6 sacks on the Packers' defense. Now the Packers' coaching. So they have Matt LaFleur as their head coach, who was hired last year. He had a 13 to three, he had a 13 win, three loss season, and he won a playoff game. Nathaniel Hackett, as offensive coordinator, he was hired last year, and Mike Pettine as their defensive coordinator. He has been defensive coordinator since 2018, so he knows the team pretty well. So this is their schedule, and we'll be talking about this later, but yeah, it's just a quick overview of their schedule. And thank you for watching. See you next time.